Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install the newly released PyTop OS on your Raspberry Pi. This is a Debian based operating system that is actually a lot like the Raspberry Pi OS. Thanks to its rather simple layout, it should be slightly easier to use for kids and others who are new to Linux. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to the official PyTop OS website. You can find out more about the PyTop OS by scrolling through their website. To download the ISO file, simply click on download. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher, by clicking on the second link in the description below, or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 16GB one. And click flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to expand and boot. As you can see the Pi is now successfully booted up and you can now begin with the basic setup process. Once you've gone through the setup process and rebooted your Pi, you can connect your Pi to the internet and start using the Pi Top OS. As you can see, the Pi Top OS has a lot of pre installed apps and features, like the full Libre Office Pack and Minecraft, but it also offers some new features, like the Check for Updates option, the Disk Usage Analyzer, and even a simple Task Manager. There are even more awesome new features that I won't go through in this video, since I don't want this video to be too long, but you can still check them out for yourselves. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you on the next one.